So it took a while for me to even be able to return back to my position as a teacher and coach. Um, I just returned to school today. Um, but the amount of, of devastation cannot be, cannot be described because every moment is dedicated to just thinking about the inconceivable happening. You know, Deshaun was a beautiful flower in our garden at Gulliver. And when he got transplanted to his next school, we knew he was going to continue to grow. But, you know, uh, you know, God picked that flower. Cord, when you uh, saw the news and you knew what happened, how long was that that moment? I was praying, I was praying that his life would be spared. But when I found out that he had passed, I was shaken to the core. I have a strong faith as well. Um, but I was shaking so much that I couldn't feel the feet under me. And I went and, you know, to be with the parents. And that was tough because the amount of grief we all felt is because we knew the promise he had. And because it, it's, it's like extracting life or extracting a huge tree out of the ground, certainly leaving a big hole. Uh, still feel that every day. I thought initially that being alone would help me to process everything, but then I realized I needed to be around everybody who loved him and the people I loved too.